When it comes to exploration, nobody sends more samples to the lab than we do. Another day at Earth AI, but today, no office for me. Taylor and I had a special mission. Destination, Adelaide. Um, did you want to cook uh, first cook? Okay, time for the real reason we are here. In this lab, all our rock, soil and core samples get processed, basically to determine how much metal is in them. The team welcomed us warmly and gave us a full tour of how it all works. But what actually happens to our samples once they arrive? Everything gets sorted based on what kind of testing we need. Then the process begins. If it's a soil sample, it gets dried at low temperatures and then pulverized. If it's a rock sample, first it's crushed, then pulverized. And finally, core samples. They get photographed, cut, crushed, and guess what? Pulverized. But only a quarter of it. The rest stays intact for future tests. Once everything is pulverized and homogenized, undergoes a quality check to ensure at least 85% of the sample is under 75 microns. In other words, really, really fine. But why go through all this effort? Well, take a look at this piece of core, for example. You can see it's made up of different minerals and structures. If we only take a piece from one side, we'd get totally different results than if we tested another part. By pulverizing and homogenizing the entire sample, we get a full and accurate data about the metal composition of each sample. Nobody sends more samples to the lab than we do. Thanks to our constant fieldwork and drilling, we provide the highest volume of samples year-round. Well, now it's time for us to head back to Sydney. Thank you guys for showing us around. It's cool to see another key step in the mineral exploration process. Hope you guys enjoyed the behind-the-scenes look. See you tomorrow.